up, I'm Matt hope you guys are having an amazing day. As you can see back behind the truck here, we got Black Betty loaded up with a bunch of rods and tackle and everything I freaking own. And we're not even gonna use her today. We're actually doing a little bit of bank fishing. Check this out. Oh God, look at this sexy little pond right here. Mm. Now you guys that watch the channel a lot are probably like, Ben, how many rods are you gonna take? 17 or 26? Well, guess what guys? It's not either of them. I'm taking one rod, one bait. Oh, I gotta hide it back behind my hand. One pack of bait I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second. And to be honest, I think it is the only pond fishing bait that you really need this time of year. You can go out and catch so many fish and catch big fish on it as well. I'm not only gonna show you the bait, I'm gonna show you how to effectively fish it to catch a bunch of fish and stuff that looks like this right back behind me. This is sketchy. You think it's an actual electric? Oh God, yeah, you can hear it snapping. Listen guys. Nope. Nope. We aren't touching that. Gotta be very, very careful. Oh, no electrocution yet. As you guys can probably already tell, today's a solo mission, no coal slot, but I really wish he was here with me so I could see how powerful the electric fence is. Oh, also guys, MF for the day is right down below. Uh, if you guys wanna be the MF for the day, which you're gonna wanna be the MF for the day because I have something special in store. Check back a little bit later in the video, but all you gotta do is comment down below and be a subscriber. Every single video we're picking an MF for the day. Sometimes we're gonna feature your comment. Sometimes we're gonna feature your comment and give things away at the end of the video. Wink, wink. Enough talking though, guys. I'm gonna get tied up with the best bait, in my opinion, of all time to go out and fish ponds and bank fish and do anything you can this time of year. And hopefully, let's start whacking some. Here's the bait we're gonna do some freaking damage with today, I think. We got the clout, the six cents clout, 5.4, it's 5.4 inches. I'm gonna one color, green pumpkin burst. I looked at the water real quick. It looks like it's about three foot visibility, which is pretty clean. I can see the bluegill popping around and stuff in here. I actually spooked some when I walked down to the water. So we're gonna do a little something special, a little sneakiness going on. We're just gonna put this on a little four aught round bend hook. And then here's the sneakiness. I don't want you guys to tell anyone about this we're gonna just dip the tail this bluegill got bright tails with well, either you know bright blue bright chartreuse stuff like that that's exactly what this guy looks like look at that little tip oh yeah you bet you don't want to get too much you want hashtag just the tip here's what we're gonna do guys we're at the deepest part of the lake i would assume i, I ice fished here once that's the only time i've ever been here before we're at the deepest part of the lake from what i found it's like seven eight feet and we're just gonna fire that clout out there and let it sink to the bottom. If you guys have conditions like this, trust me, this is what you guys wanna be freaking doing. You got high skies, you just got a little bit of wind, kind of the middle of the day, crappy conditions, especially if you got some decent water quality. We got two, three foot, maybe a little bit more than that visibility in some of the parts of this lake. We got grass out here. Now you can throw this guy on like a flick shake or a wacky rig or something like that. But since there's so much grass, I just decided to go strip up Texas rig, a wacky hook with a weed guard on it, probably really good here too. But I'll just show you guys right now how easy it is to catch fish in ponds like like this on this little stick worm. There we go. Come here, little guy. Ignite school. Just a baby, but hey. Man, took a lot of whistles to get that hook out. Bye, bud. There we go. Two in a row. Two in a row, two in a row. Come here, bud. They are eating it with them moving. Not moving at all, moving slow, I was gonna say, but basically it's just motionless. We're growing, we're going a little bit bigger there. We're growing, I like it. I mean, this is the easiest bait in the history of North America to go out and throw, guys. I like to tech expose it, so I put the, uh, the point of the hook right back into the plastic, because there's a lot of grass in here, but the, this is it, guys, watch. You cast it out, hits the water, and you hold your rod and wait for that line to jump. It's about eight to 10 feet deep out there, I think. Max, maybe six to eight. It's sinking, it's sinking. Just pop the rod a few times because nothing hit on the ball. We'll wait for it to sink back down again. One got it. Those are bluegill maybe, just pecking at it. Bluegill will try to peck at this thing too. Let it go back down more pops and that's it just the same thing the whole way in let's see yep my bait screwed up on the hook this guy's ripped it right off and the good thing about this bait is too you just bite a little quarter inch off of him slide it back on there and you're good to go the old clout's not like a Cinco where freaking every single bite you get your entire bait gets destroyed i've caught like 
12 to 15 fish on one of these things before when you got tough conditions this is the deal it's what you throw guys oh god that one about took the rod out of my damn hands might be better yeah it's a little bit better one went to lift up on it he was going the other direction you bet little ones i don't I mean i hope there's big ones in here so far it's just been little ones i just ripped my entire worm off but that's okay it's right there on the grass put it back on all right three fish we're not we're not killing the game but we're catching numbers we need to find where oh big leave about a little bit more off there mr cloud's probably about four inches now totally fine still good to catch some guys i brought one rod and this is the best rod for this technique that i brought today it's the six cents mf for series of course and a seven foot medium heavy fast model a lot of you guys asking me literally every single day you're like yo i can only got the budget to go out and buy one rod they're 100 bucks what one would do the most amount of different techniques and i tell everyone every single time seven foot medium heavy go get this one if i mean this can do a lot of different stuff you can throw obviously weightless baits like this you can pitch with it a lot with texas rigs little tiny little finesse jigs you can even shallow crank with it you can throw little top waters there's a fish right there and he came off we got it rated for one quarter to three quarter ounces i'd say that's pretty accurate this is kind of on the lighter end of the spectrum throwing this little weightless stick bait i bet the entire thing with the hook and everything probably is right around one quarter of an ounce but you can fire this thing out there so far with this rod setup and look at this no weight to it and watch how far i can throw this thing through a third of the way across the damn pond now as you guys know and you tell me all the time the six cent stuff uh sells out almost immediately so not really any reason for them to run sales or anything if you do want the rod or any other baits we're going to use today be sure to use promo code mf10 that way you can uh, get it cheaper than anywhere else you could possibly get it another one another one another guy another little guy still got the same cloud on all right I mean, this isn't biggins, but who wouldn't have fun doing this? This is badass. Thanks for playing, bud. Fishing a relatively light setup today. Not like a straight up spinning rod. You could throw this on a spinning rod though. Look at this thing, it's getting beat up. That's four fish on the same cloud, plus a bunch of bluegill bites. Throw them back on there. We're getting cute, that's all that really matters. Now this is a bait where obviously it's falling. You need to make sure it's falling directly down. You don't want it to be like a semi bow, like I'll throw when I have like a half ounce or a five eighth ounce weight on a big worm or something like that you want that worm falling perfectly down because uh if, if you put any type of pressure on the line it's going to cause the bait to kind of glide forward that's not natural to the fish i don't know how many freaking wiggly worms they're they're eating that are falling straight down but it's just what i've found you want that thing falling straight freaking down and for that reason you know i'm throwing a bait caster today like i said you can throw it on a spinning rod but i want to go as light as i possibly can with my line uh, given whatever the cover is that it dictates this is 12 pound test um, fluorocarbon on this i always want fluorocarbon because it helps your bait sink it pulls it down it doesn't float it up like mono there's another fish right there get out of that grass is he big or is he just stuck in the grass oh not a bad fish fish number five on the same clout <laughs> as i was saying though that's a perfect little transition you don't generally when you're fishing around grass this thick even with a little guy like that you don't want to be using eight pound fluorocarbon or six pound fluorocarbon that's why i like to throw it on a bait caster i can kind of winch them out of some of this grass or if there's a stick a tree or stick or anything out there brush pile they can get stuck on but i like 10 12 pound fluorocarbon it's perfect i've bumped it up to 15 before if i'm fishing muddy water or if i'm fishing heavy cover where you know i can't get bit or anything else i'm throwing a clout because the conditions really justified if they're kind of high skies middle of the day like this fish don't really want an active moving flapping bait that's when he throw this guy but as you can see this thing gets bit oh another one another one fish number six on the clout Man, there's a bunch of babies in here see that's right there is why i wish I, i'm really glad i got 12 pound line on this dude would not have come out of that that's for sure nope i'm not i'm not letting that clout go he's getting destroyed that's fish number six on him but i'm not letting him go i will let you go though little man go get bigger jesus oh of course now we got clouds we got frog conditions we got swim jig conditions coming in a little bit of wind and of course i only have this right here the bag of clouds probably could potentially catch them on a swim jig or a frog 
but I'm catching the shit out of them on this one little stick worm. The most simple bait of all time. But yeah, I'm gonna keep throwing this clout weightless on this grass edge right here. Kind of work around the pond a little bit. We only have about 15 more minutes till we gotta get back to the house. But hopefully you guys can see the effectiveness of this guy. Now it's just time to catch a big one. Actually, you know what? I wanna give some of these away to you guys. One of you lucky MFers, that way you can go and catch pond fish, lake fish, whatever type of fish on these guys too. So how about if this video gets to 1,500 comments, 1,500 comments right down below, I'm gonna give away five packs of six cents clouts to one of you lucky MFers. Efforts, and that's going to be an MF for the day in one of the next couple videos. So again, if you want to be the MF for the day, comment below and be a subscriber. Very, very simple. Go do these two things right now and then check back next couple videos. I'll put the MF for the day up on the screen. I will say which one of you guys will be the winner of the cloud. I mean, clearly you want to catch fish. You want to get some of these baits right here. I'm going to go catch some more fish on right now. Let's do it. God, there's frogs everywhere at this lake. I wonder if a frog will eat a cloud. One way to find out. Oh, look, I'm a little stick worm. Eat me. Oh, we got it. You got it. Yes. Come here, bud. Oh, he's a little hung up. A little hung up. Oh, God. He's flying. Damn, it's a big one. Look at that thing. It actually is frog season. I should come back here and do a little frog catch and cook. Jesus, chill, bro. Chill. That's a freaking monster. I like the clout, too. Meh. Bye, bud. Guys, let me know if you want to see a, uh, a little frog catch and cook video. We haven't done one of those since last year. I always like to take a break, you know, whether I'm bass fishing and just can't catch a bass and i'm like ah, i better go catch a crop or a bluegill or something for a little bit or i'm bass fishing at a place like this and i can't catch one and i'm like boom there's frogs everywhere i'm gonna try to catch some frogs just to dick around for a little bit this guy i think they gotta be four and a half inches to keep in nebraska it is finally frog season he'd be pretty close oh he's peeing on me what is this you know what i used to like throwing a frog to catch frogs i might have to switch up through the old clout for frogs frog clout guy Frog. All right, we gotta test on one more frog just to make sure the cloud is the ultimate frog fishing bait. Oh, he's looking at it. He got it, he got it. Oh my God, the hookup ratio is insane with this thing. Feel bad for Mr. Frog's legs right here, but oh God, we got freaking peers today. Gross. Well, get out of here, bud. All right, back to bass fishing. Sorry guys, I had to get a little sidetracked. Anybody else have ADD like I do? I think it's almost good to have like terrible ADD as a fisherman because if you were just fishing around and you're like dead set on what was going on right in front of you and you didn't notice like, oh, wow, a fish just swam by over there. I should pitch in my, my little cloud over there. Boom, got that five pounder. I think if you, if you didn't have a little bit of ADD, you probably wouldn't be a very good fisherman. Jesus. Yeah, freaking was running. Oh God, a frog almost came and got it. I had a fish running with it. Then a frog tried to eat it. Now the frog's here. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Here it comes. Here it comes. I don't know if I'm gonna catch a fish or a frog. Any cast, any given moment. God, this guy is freaking out. He wants it. Just chill, bud. Oh, set it a little prematurely. Got him. Got him. That's an angry, angry dude. Look at him. He got that clout in his mouth. This thing might weigh more than all the fish I've caught so far today. I wasn't even trying to catch frogs anymore and I'm catching frogs. I was telling you guys how effective this is for pond bass and then all of a sudden, apparently it's even more effective for pond frogs. Seriously, let me know if you wanna see me come back here and do a little frog leg catch and cook. I haven't had frog legs in too long and honestly, I mean, they're delicious just kind of weird up here anyways i know you cajuns and other southern folk which i love all you guys equally uh, i know you're probably like what are you talking about we eat that stuff all the time well we don't really do that a lot in the midwest people kind of look at you a little sideways when you're eating a amphibian's legs off i personally tend to love it you no know, we didn't catch any gigantors but we just stopped by this roadside pond for like a half hour caught a bunch of fish and i mean like i told you guys repeatedly throughout this video if you want to just go catch fish you want to catch numbers of fish and i've caught some really big fish on them too the old weightless clout is the freaking way to go for me anyways that's my favorite all-time way to go get a bunch of bites i think it's good to do videos like this sometimes to show you guys you don't need a eighty thousand dollar bass boat and 100 different rods and every bass lure that's ever been made to go out and catch a bunch of fish like i told you guys um i'm gonna link the clout and all the tackle i used rod reel line everything down below and um Hopefully I don't get electrocuted by this fence on the way out. Be a little careful. Just kind of sneak through here. I don't like those snaps. Snaps are sketchy. Anyways, if you guys want to see more pond fishing, bank fishing videos like this, please let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe and comment so you can be the winner of five packs of those Six Sense Clouts. I'm going to get this bad boy back on the road and uh, catch you guys very soon. Out of here.